Olá. Olá. Como estás? Muy bien, gracias. Si? Sí? That was good. Or hi. I could be like Norwegian. Hi, hi. Oh, is that what they say? Yeah, that's one of the ways. It's cute, right? Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Anyway. Um, you guys, we're so excited to be back at you with another amazing recipe. Or two. Yes. We're not just coming at you with one, we're coming at you with two. Fall and the cold weather, they make you yeah. want to bake and I want pumpkin spice lattes. You want like all these yummy soups, which did yes. you guys know? My old trainer, Mike from here, he used to tell me that the main ingredient in soup is cellulite. <laughs> oh, guess who wants cellulite? Not Mom. me. Yeah. So we're here to bring you guys a really amazing, like healthy snack that's like pumpkin spice protein magic yes. that you can just have on hand when you're just wanting the bread bowl and soup, but not yes. wanting the cellulite. Before we dive into this recipe, we want to remind you guys that 310 Nutrition is offering an amazing discount on their shaker starter set, which basically includes samples of all the shakes, a $10 gift card, the shaker, mm. which is, an which awesome there's product. not vodka in here. <laughs> We're pissed guys, about it. Just FYI. Yeah. Anyway, it's 80% off, which makes it $19, $19, which is basically free. It's basically free. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite things about this recipe that Michelle is sharing is you get to have something yummy and delicious, but you don't feel like that's healthy and you don't feel like you're missing out. Right. Don't you? <laughs> Here's how you make it. All right, so the first thing you do is set the oven to 375. Okay, get that sucker warm. So you're gonna do one cup of pumpkin puree, okay? Which mm. is different than pumpkin pie filling. Make sure you get the puree. Three fourths cup of any nut butter that you want. We're using Obviously. The natural GIF. Okay, so we're gonna just kind of eyeball this. Yeah, like, Remember when you told me not to eyeball anything? I am so does glad. Does anyone you... really measure peanut butter though? <laughs> I don't. I'm just glad you've come to the dark side of. <laughs> that to me is like. That's like a half cup. For sure. Don't you think? 100. So let's just add a little more. You mix that up, that would even be amazing. Like, I don't know. Wait. Just in case. Well, the next thing you're gonna do is one ripe banana. Okay, and you're gonna mash this sucker. You can just like mash it with the peel on. And That's then just idea. like shove that sucker in. A fourth of a cup of maple syrup. It's the Shady Maple Farms brand. <laughs> We'll go with that. Give us some shade. Please stand up. So a fourth a cup of maple, of maple syrup. Yum. Yummers. A tablespoon of melted coconut oil, which make sure you melt it. Okay. And then a teaspoon of vanilla. Obviously, this recipe will be in the description box. Yes. Saru. Then you're going to mix. That's all for the... Moist ingredients. <laughs> the moistest. The moistest. Uh. I mean, that already looks like Thanksgiving to me. It already looks like heaven. The next thing you're gonna do is add your protein mix. So we are using the 310, the vanilla chai protein. <laughs> so amazing. You're gonna do one scoop of this sucker. You could use the vanilla too, don't you think? Yeah. If you wanted, but we, oh yeah, you totally could. With this recipe, you could we even, love. You could even do the chocolate. Yeah, really. I feel like the vanilla chai is the best. Thing. Yeah, the chai has that just little spice, little you know, fall feel to it. Exactly. Teaspoon of baking soda. Oh. Okay, a teaspoon of cinnamon. Yay! All right, half a teaspoon of ground ginger. Half of a teaspoon of nutmeg. A fourth a teaspoon of sea salt. And yeah. that is all of the dry ingredients. And you just fold these guys in. Now you're just gonna grease your muffin tins or if you have um, little muffin cups, you can use those. Make sure you get those nice and 
saturated. And you're using the coconut oil? Yeah, gum. just coconut oil spray. And then you're just gonna fill these suckers up. And you don't wanna fill them up too, like that's perfect. Wow. Another thing you could do is get the small muffin yeah, the tin. I wanna ones. get I wanna get one of those tins where those are really like truly Bite snack size. size. Like, yeah. But these are so good that you're gonna go back for another one anyway. So you might as well just do the usual size. <laughs> you might as well. All right, then you're just gonna top these with like carob chips, dark chocolate chips, milk chocolate, whatever you guys want. We're doing some dark chocolate chips and you just add them to the top. These would actually be fine without any of it if you don't want the chocolate, which I don't know who doesn't want chocolate, but. You could also fold these in if you want it, but yeah. I kind of do love that it's like, hey, if you want chocolate chips, throw them on the top. Then you just put these in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes, and then you'll put a toothpick through it and make sure there's no, it's not moist, and then you'll know that they're done. Yum, I can't even wait. Yum. You guys, they just come out looking so Perfect, beautiful. They're the cutest They're little so cute. Pumpkin babes. Muffins, pumpkin babes. Wow. Brielle loves these, Mike loves these. You can't not love these. So they're really moist on the inside still. Moist, the moistest. Can you even see how moist and yummy, delicious Look at city? the moisture. Arr, my mouth is salivating. Mm. My mouth is salivating. Hand me that fork. These are um, protein them. heaven. Flourless muffins with plant-based protein. Mm. There you have it. Mm. We have something super special for you. Yes. It's balls. Protein balls. I was telling Michelle, oh my gosh, all of the ingredients we have out, I can just grab a few of them and make one of my favorite protein snacks that I make for Carl and I that I quickly whip up throw in the freezer and if I'm ever like, I need something, I wanna grab something unhealthy, I take one and I'm golden. The ingredients are gluten-free oats, all natural peanut butter or almond butter, a touch of honey, and your choice of protein. Perfect, I mean, it's the easiest. Oatmeal, I always use gluten-free oats. And just so you guys know, I do eyeball the recipe, but I will put the exact She's a measurements baller with I'm her a balls. Baller, yes. Three fourths of peanut butter, <laughs> honey. This is the best honey, by the way, you guys. Yeah. The manuka. Manuka from New Zealand. That's so good. Recently, I've just been doing regular vanilla or the vanilla chai, but I got the salted caramel in the starter set so i was like that sounds perfect. fine i'm actually gonna try the salted caramel so i'm just gonna put two packages in here but i feel like the salted caramel it's gonna make it this like fall bonanza in your mouth i'm gonna get the camera and come yeah out. i love that this is only a few ingredients you know carl loves um chocolate too like chocolate chips so I always get the mini chocolate chips because the big chocolate chips are, they're just too big for the balls. <laughs> Michelle, will you just toss a few of those? Yeah, man. Don't mind if I do. Parf. That Parf. chips are amazing in it. You can tell it needs a little bit more peanut butter and honey. Once again, when you eyeball, these are the situations that arise. You have to be flexible to be an eyeballer. <laughs> You know what I mean? It really does help to just manhandle the balls. Man. <laughs> Making the look balls. at how great the balls look. You're forming so, really great sized balls. And so once I get all of the balls made, I just put them in a Ziploc bag and toss them in the freezer. But they last a long time, and it's and they totally keep shape and form, and. Then you have magic in your mouth whenever magic you want. balls in your mouth. Oatmeal fall peanut butter balls. So we'll put this in the freezer. There you have it. There you guys have it. And don't forget 
to check the description box oh, yes. for 80% off your 310 starter set. You guys for all $19. Like we said, it's basically free. Yeah, we're dead over it. Before we leave you, we wanted to share some of our favorite little beauty finds. Um, this is the Isle of Paradise Mousse self tanner in dark. We both tried it for the first time. Well, I've tried it a few times. Laura tried it. Have you first watched it? it? First time today. Yes. And so far I like it. I we actually like it. and I never put self tanner on my face. I put it on my face, neck, arms. I, I mean, I know I'm covered up, I know. but um, we will let you know, but I, we were following this brand on Instagram and the founder of the brand, the guy who started it is the cutest. So cute. Long story short, we're not working with them. We just want to know what you guys thought. They also yeah. have a product where you drop little drops into your own moisturizer. I'm afraid to try it. If you guys have any tricks, <laughs> please let us yeah. know. If you guys know us, we're always in yeah. the market for the best, best self-tanner. Self -tanner. So, so, so far, so good. Yes. Okay, the next thing that we are loving, Urban Decay came out with these lip mousse-like products that are so cool. They're little stains that you can just kind of like put on your lip. Which I kind of love. The only one that I've messed around with is this one called Noise. Because I love the way like when you're like sucking on a sucker and it like just yeah. gets in the middle of your mouth, like it just stains your lips. That's exactly what this does. Yeah, there's something that's really pretty it's and sexy so about that. so pretty. But you can use these also like all these different colors on your lips just however you want. I found that layering them was Layering them has been so fun. So I've been putting on the Buxom lip gloss in sugar, which I love. And then after you put the gloss on, you just take your finger like this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come close for this. Yeah. Go a little closer. And you go, uh, 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 uh. Right in a little. Isn't that so Ooh, pretty? I like it. There's a little tip for you. Then Laura tried it over lipstick and it looks yeah. so good. The one thing I love about this is you can use it over any nude lipstick you have. And I have on Penelope Pink and Charlotte Tilbury. I bought this a long time ago and to be honest, it's not my favorite. I like the Kim K color better. That's beside the point. The point is, is I love that no matter what nude lipstick you're wearing, it's so sexify sexy. it. it is. I, um, same thing, I just took it after I had on the nude lip and I just put it in the middle. Ugh. I'm obsessed. So you good. It? Yeah, the like, texture is really cool. It's just like a mousse. Yeah. Mousse. Who do you think is at the door? I don't know, but hopefully they're going to appreciate home. this lip tip. No, but, <laughs> no, but I love the lip tip. I know. So, so fun. Anyway. So there's a little beauty tip for you guys. We will let you know yeah. like in a video. But we want your comments because yeah. we know a lot of people we are opinionated like we are. Tell us what you think. Yeah. Love you guys. Love you guys. I know. It actually is like... I also think vodka with this would be really good. I know.